with the release of Reaper 5.2, users now have the option to view and edit MIDI through a notation editor. Open a MIDI item in Reaper's MIDI editor. Go to Actions and search for Notation. Users can use keyboard shortcut Alt 4 or click on the action. Users can also assign the notation display action to a button on the toolbar. Notice that the score will wrap from one line to the next when only one track is selected. However, the score will become continuous from left to right if more than one track is selected. Editing behavior is very similar to the piano roll. The same key selection options in the piano roll apply key signatures to the notation view. Additionally, adding, deleting, or selecting notes can all be done in the notation view as you would do in the piano roll. To zoom in, simply use the mouse wheel. Use the mouse wheel while holding the Alt key to move left and right. Use the mouse wheel while holding Control and Alt to move up and down. There is also an option to toggle between grid and musical spacing. Grid spacing functions like the piano roll in that two eighth notes take up the same graphical space as one quarter note, whereas musical spacing is more like traditional engraving where extra graphical space is needed for clarity. Reaper offers several visualization quantization options to improve score clarity. Users can select two complementary methods to visually quantize the score. First, users can select the display quantization. This method adjusts the apparent start time relative to the grid. So, for example, a 16th note that is slightly off the grid will still appear to be a 16th note on the downbeat as opposed to a 32nd note on an offbeat. You can also set a minimum display note length. Essentially, notes will be rounded to the closest value selected. If you select an eighth note, for example, you would not see any 16th notes in your score. Keep in mind that the underlying MIDI duration does not change, just the display of the note. Use these two options together to simplify the visual score, but remember, the underlying MIDI does not change. These settings can be applied globally or per track. Reaper also includes an automatic tuplet detection feature. Try toggling this option when recording tuplets. Users can also insert or manually adjust tuplets of varying ratios. Users also have the option to attach text and dynamics through the Insert Notation option. Also, users can enter lyrics, create slurs, add articulations, ornaments, and pedal marks. Please note that the pedal marks currently trigger MIDI CC64 values. The notation view also supports up to three voices per staff, default, high, and low with an option to automatically voice overlapping notes. The notation view also supports beaming groups through the tempo window. Users can select less common accidentals such as double sharps and double flats. The default clef can be set per track, and the clef can be changed at the start of any measure. Furthermore, users can select from several transposition options. For percussion tracks, users can select from two percussion clefs and a variety of note heads. Tracks can be bracketed by organizing your tracks into folders. Each folder group creates a bracket. Folders also allow users to quickly add or remove groups of tracks to or from the notation view. This just scratches the surface of the new notation editor. Many functions that are already included in the piano roll can be used and customized to assist with note entry and various other tasks. I encourage you to dig into the new notation features as well as explore some of the older piano roll features to better leverage this new tool. To end this video, I will show the notation view in full screen mode, undocked, with a score written for brass and percussion.